Six million ways to die. Choose one. All right, we're waiting uh, for Chuck Liddell and, and George St. Pierre, but we'll get this thing started. I love it when uh, big hyped up cards live up to the hype. Tonight, I did, and, and just to start this thing off, two warriors who love to bang and love to knock people out, you know, um, went toe to toe, showed tons of heart, and one of the best fights I've ever seen, Chuck and Vanderlei. V Vanderlei's not here, he, he had to go to the hospital. Liddell is coming, they're trying to round him up out there right now. Um, unbelievable attendance, 11,075. $4.9 million gate. We did one, uh, 1,311 closed circuit here. Um, this is the biggest UFC gate at Mandalay Bay this year, biggest MMA gate in the US this year, and the second biggest MMA gate in history. So it was a big night, and in 2007, we had a kick-ass 2007. You know, it was an aggressive year for us, buying pride. Um, the WC, the cover of Sports Illustrated, <laughs> moving into Europe. Um, and next year is going to be even bigger. Big mega fights lined up coming off uh, the end of this year. I've got you know my trademark big announcements coming pretty soon here. We got some, you know, every year we've taken this thing to another level. Wait till you see what we do in 2008. Come right out of the gates in the next few weeks. We'll be making some announcements that they're going to shake up the entire industry again. Every day when I wake up, there's some new guy getting into the business, and all oh, these are going to be the guys who are going to take the UFC down. I don't think anybody's taking anybody down. I think that. Uh, you know, this the course like the Wild Wild West way right now is to, people see dollar signs and uh, anytime that there's new guys coming in, I love it because when you get guys like, you know, the, the biggest guy out there right now is Mark Cuban and, you know, he's got a lot of money and everybody's talking about what he's going to do. And, you know, Floyd Mayweather is walking around with $70 million in his pocket right now and we all know that Floyd loves to spend money. So I'm sure Cuban's trying to get him to invest in it. I like it. You know, the more money that comes into the sport, the better it is to help grow the sport. More athletes get fights, make money, um, start their careers, and they'll all end up in the UFC at the end of the day. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? <clears throat> Wait till you see what we're doing in 2008. I can't talk about it yet because I don't like talking about things before deals are done, but we're going to really blow this thing out of the water in the beginning of 2008. It's going to be a big, big, big year. Dana, where's Mashida in the food chain after that performance tonight? He, he's, he's an incredible fighter, and, and he, you know, standing up on the ground no matter where the fight goes, it's quick, got quick head movement. I mean, he's definitely the top of the food chain. He's one of the top guys in that division. Undefeated still. Why do you think the Pride guys have had so much trouble coming to the UFC? Why do you think what? The Pride players have had so much trouble coming to the UFC. You know, it, it's, uh, when you talk about different organizations, you know, um, you, you never really know how good anybody is until you get in and you fight with the best. Great night. I don't even know what to say. I'll just open this thing up for questions when the two big rock stars get here. Uh, you know, you guys can ask them questions. Chuck, Hughes, and GSP are here. Anybody want to ask them any questions? Chuck, uh, we've seen you a couple times on, on ESPN. I say, and Dennis Miller, I went out and bought one of these shirts. I don't even know what it means. Can you tell me a little bit about this uh, MMA Jack? Uh, MMA Jax is a, a social network for fighters and, and fans and stuff, so it's just a place for people, it's my site to go to and uh, you know, talk to people that like fighting. Awesome. Chuck, who are you with? MMA Jack? <laughs> Pressure Group Inc. Chuck. AKA MMA Jack. Chuck, Chuck, were you surprised that Silva kept standing, kept standing, he didn't go down, he took that punishment? Um, yeah, I, I he thought he, he did a great job of uh, keep, keep fighting. I mean, he could he didn't want to give up, you know. Uh, there's a couple of times he could have just covered up in the corner, and they probably would have stopped it. But he he come out swinging, so uh, you know, um, uh, it, was, it was a fun fight. If you have a question, just raise your hand so I can get it on the mic, and that way everybody can hear the question. Um, at, at some um, a part on uh, at some point in the in the fight, mm -hmm. it, it looked like you guys both. We're trying to, to get the fight on, on your feet till the end, just standing, not going to the ground. Um, at one point you were falling, but you know that there was like that time when like uh, Vanderlei was giving you the chance to stand up and, and stay on your feet. Is that because it's like a, this kind of honor among strikers or what? 
Uh, he's a striker. I don't think, uh, really don't think he has much chance. He had much chance of taking me down. Um, and you did the same for him. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I wasn't understanding your question. But uh, no, yeah, we, we both like to strike. And, uh, you know, I hit a couple of shots just to keep him off, off balance a little bit. But uh, for the most part, you know, I wasn't going to sit on, lay on top of him and do nothing. So I just let him back up. Good fight. Thank you. Chuck, uh, Ned Pollard, Black Belt. Uh, did you have any plans to take the fight to the ground if things got really tough uh, standing up? Um, I'd always planned to shoot a couple times, uh, but mostly just to, uh, I wanted to cause some damage when I did it, you know, get that, you know, talk to my hair a little bit, make him worried about uh, if I'm going to take him down or not. Um, so uh, just keep him, you know, so he can't just sit there and settle in and, and do what he wants, striking with. You know, it always sets out the overhand, sets off this, this, my spinning back fist, and so I was saying, it, set those, it sets those up for me, me, me hitting those shots, because he's not sure what I do when I make those moves. Chuck, is uh, Quentin Jackson next? <laughs> uh, that's the question for Dana. Thanks. Dana is Quentin Jackson next. Quentin Jackson and Forrest Griffin are fighting next. Hey, Chuck. Noticed uh, Tony Robbins in your corner uh, this time around. Did you do anything different in your training uh, mentally this time? I mean, you looked 100% different this fight than you did the last two fights. Well, he yeah, with uh, some uh, visualization stuff, where, you know, for, for pre fight and some, did some, some cool stuff with me. But I think the biggest. Uh, I uh, think it was in the, in the room we had, we had Sam Henson um, come in and help me with my, my wrestling and stuff in Cal Poly and, uh, and he just did the intensity in the room, you know, I think he got, got after the guys to get after me a little more. So uh, we got that, got a little more of that, that fighting spirit back in the, in, in the inside, in the sparring, so. Yeah, we did it all tonight. I was fine. I mean, I, I was, just kept coming after him. I mean, that's my kind of fight. I mean, it's, it's hard for me to get tired when I, when I go, go at my own pace whenever I want, you know, I get, just to follow up on his question earlier, on the second round when Vanderlei hit you, you went down. Do you think Vanderlei missed an opportunity? He could have grabbed the counter. Did you hurt him all of them? No, I, I was a little off balance. I think he knocked me down that way. I don't. Uh, I wasn't hurt. Chuck, back here. Up here in the back. Back. Okay. Oh. There was a couple moments in the fight where when Vanderlei was hanging by a thread. Why weren't you able to finish him off, knock him out? Because he's, he's a tough man. <laughs> I was I was hitting him. I was trying to, but uh, you know I, I can't. And he, I was landing shots. I mean he was he was getting hurt, but uh, he was a, he was able to keep fighting and, and coming back. Everywhere.